Welcome to today's class. I want to believe that you've learned a whole lot in a math series. Um, I want to encourage you to keep in sending in your answers, keep taking the exercises, keep bringing in feedbacks. You're becoming better for it. I bet you, you're becoming better for it. So, so thumbs up. Let's talk about pie chart today. I'm Uncle Ed. What is a pie chart? A pie chart is one of the ways in which data is represented. Data can be represented either using a bar graph, a histogram, or a pie chart. There could be. But today we're focusing on a pie chart. How is this done? It is done by simply dividing the circle into sectors. So each sector is proportional to the frequency of item that it represents. So let's say you take a survey of your classmates to find out, find out what course of study they would like to take in high school. And from your findings, you have the following. Five students want to read medicine and surgery. Two students would love to read software engineering. Four students are taking banking and finance. Six students reply that they are going for fine, fine arts. And three students um, told you that they are going to be reading law. So how do we represent these in a pie chart? This is a simple information. That information can be represented, and how do we go about that? First of all, total of the category. We have to find the total of the category. Next, we calculate the angle of each category. How do we calculate that angle? Angle of category is simply category value over the sum of category multiplied multiplied by 360 degrees once we're done with that we divide the circle into sectors using angles remember we've already gotten the angle in our previous set step so using a pair of compasses draw a circle of any radius you'd like then draw a radius as a starting line, just a radius in the circle. Using a protractor, measure and draw the angles in proportionate form. Make sure your protractor aligns with the center of the circle and lay carefully. So let's look at as an example that would help us explain what we've been talking about. The example says, the number of students admitted into a university in a particular year is given as, as education, that is faculty of education, 350 students, medicine, 150 students, engineering, 200 students, law, 100 students, arts, 100 students. So draw a pie chart to representation. So we have to make it as simple as possible this number of students have been admitted into a school and into different faculties so first step we add the total number of students and what does it give us 900 so 350 plus 150 plus 250 plus 200 plus 100 plus 100 gives us 900 is that clear so next we calculate the angle of sector in the pie chart. Each category, for instance, education, which has 350 students, will be allotted a particular portion of the circle. And how do we calculate the angle? It is given in the table below. So you have education, which has 350 students, is going to get 140 degrees. Remember the formula. How do we get the angle? We get the angle by simply calculating the category value over sum of category multiplied by 360. So if you do that for education, medicine, engineering, law, and arts, do the math carefully without missing any number. You're going to have the following angles. Education is going to be 140 degrees. Medicine will be 60 degrees. Engineering will give us 80 degrees. 
law will give us 40 degrees and arts will give us arts will give us 40 degrees if you take out your time to do the math very well once we're done with that we can now draw the pie chart so we divide the circle into sectors using a protractor so i did it on my own but i got education has 140 degrees so i measure out 140 degrees in the circle and it's shaded orange so that part is for education the green part the green part is for medicine which is 60 degrees the black region or black shaded region is for engineering which is 80 degrees law which is the red region is 40 degrees and arts which is the white red region is 40 degrees so this is how a pie chart is constructed and this is how the data is represented or how data is represented using a pie chart very simple so to test your knowledge for you to do make sure to send in your answers as soon as possible we'll be waiting Thank you.